we have a sign that says a high tide raises all boats. So our point is that we will raise the bar for all children. They know that we expect them to do their best and just like the children, the teachers are expected to do their best. We take the CMT scores and we analyze them and you know exactly where the children are and exactly what goes to work with them on. There's a high expectation, kind of a no excuse idea that you feel when in a sense of pride in this building and I think that you don't want to be the one that lets someone down uh, because you have such a level of respect for the people you're working with um, you care so much about these kids and you've seen it work so you know it can be done with hard work. Um, we have a partnership with Haskins uh, Laboratories um, which is mastery reading um, instruction and our custodians will go in and sit when the consultant is here and hear what the consultant is saying so that when they have a conversation with the children they can use that that common language. I think you can come up with as a teacher so many reasons to say well I couldn't get in touch with that parent or I don't speak the same language as that parent or well they don't have breakfast in the morning and I think that we have come to the conclusion as a school that that's not an excuse that every child deserves and you can go out of your way to make it work. What we wanted to do was to let um, the community know that this second language, that these children being bilingual was extremely valued. So from that, children who maybe weren't viewed as being at the mastery part of the class suddenly became during Spanish class the children who were at the top of the class. Um, they became the role models for other students. So we really feel that that was a part of a respect um, for the children and it also gave a message to parents that this was very valuable. Um, and I think from that we started to get more parental involvement within the school. It's been also proven that the kids learn best when they are the youngest. And it's, for them, it's really easy to learn. It's, it's natural. They love it. I know when they come home and they're exceeding what I think that they can do, that they're being challenged. It truly was a belief by the entire community, by the teachers, by the parents, that the children could succeed. And they never wavered in that belief. I wish every child could have the experience my kids have had here.